Hello, it's Kim from Wild Card Wanderer and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna do a spread for the very first time on my new sketchbook handmade by my mom. The pages are made of great quality watercolor papers from my favorite brand, Fabriano. So, let's get started! This illustration is inspired by a lovely social media influencer, Miss Rebecca Wall at Rebecca Wall on Instagram. I'm just so in love with her aesthetic so I'm very excited to paint her. The background in the sketch is inspired by my dreamy visions of nature. Now with my watercolor set, I'll start coloring this pencil drawing. First up, I'll be working on the skin tones. It's safer to paint it first so the other colors won't mess things up. Now in painting skin tones, I don't rely on the flesh color that is usually included in a paint set that we buy. It just doesn't resemble the real color of the skin at all. Instead, I mix my own skin tones. The most known basic formula for skin tones is red plus yellow plus blue. Yes, your same old primary colors, dearie. However, it takes a lot of experimenting for you to achieve the perfect skin tones that will suit your painting. So I really suggest to experiment a lot. Here in this piece, since the subject only has a fair complexion, I will be using a very basic skin tone mix. I started by mixing yellow with vermilion and lots of water to create a very light and subtle orange that will serve as the base color of the skin. I then applied it to the more shadowy parts of the skin. Remember that in painting skin tones, the colors must be transparent as possible to achieve translucence in the result or otherwise everything would look muddy and unpleasant. After the base colors, I then applied a second layer. It is still the same orange mix but I added a little bit of cobalt blue to it to sort of neutralize the orange and turn it into a very light tan color that resembles real skin color. I continued laying down the base colors for the rest of the drawing. I really really love the muted shades of green in here and they are so calm and soothing. Now, for the third layer of the skin, I mixed yellow with cadmium red and a tiny bit of ultramarine this time. I mixed more red to create a warm shade to make the subject look like there's sunlight shining on her. You know what? Varying the amount of the yellow, red, and blue in the skin tone mix creates different shades of skin to suit every skin color that is existing right now. So again, all you have to do is just experiment a lot. And here's another tip. If you want the skin of your subject to be more realistic in your painting, all you have to do is to observe the subject more closely and carefully. Remember, the skin doesn't have a single color. In fact, it has a lot of colors. You will see in the shadows there are purples, there are greens, there are blues, a lot of colors. So one key is observation. I now proceed with all the necessary layers and details for the whole piece, but also not overdoing it because I only want to create very rough impressions of the whole idea and not necessarily a finished painting. Lastly, for the final touches, I used white gouache and painted some stipples over the trees and the grass and the daisies that the lady is holding, and a little illusion of intricate details. After a few more stipples, it's almost done. And that's it for today lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
we now have a nice sketchbook spread. And I also hope that the tips that I shared with you would be helpful in your own artworks. And please do stay tuned for a little announcement in the end of this video. Okay, so here it is. The piece that I did today is a part of my Draw This In Your Style Challenge. So if you want to join the challenge, all you have to do is to follow me on Instagram at wildcardwanderer and you will see all the details there. And if you participated in the challenge, you will get a chance to win a prize from me. So please join in the fun and I can't wait to see all of your creations. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!